Hey, what's going on guys? Simonian here, and today we're going to be testing out our prototype RBMK reactor. The same kind of, uh, our, the same, uh, prototype that we used over here for our previous video. Uh, actually, it was the video before the, yeah, you know what I mean. The, uh, previous video featuring this, uh, reactor here. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to do that again, but with this reactor here. Obviously, we've uh, taken some more precautions, or we're going to take more precautions. Anyway, over here we have the basic layout here. Now you could uh, customize this, like the outer uh, blue parts of the uh, RBMK reactor. You could use the uh, for like higher performance, like or higher heat uh, reactors. You're we're gonna want to use the RBMK coolers, but for like Reactor fuels that give off less heat, you can use the radiation channels. Next, we have our uh, neutron reflectors here, or a tungsten carbide. So, each of these, uh, you're going to need eight of uh, either one of these two. You could theoretically use them both, like four of each. So, let's say, like, you, you could replace the corners with the uh, coolers and have the uh, radiation channels in the middle. So I should have actually thought of that before I made it, started recording. Anyway, so then we have our um, <coughs> neutron reflectors. We have four steam channels, which over here we have the whole layout. So we have our cooler slash radiation channels, neutron reflectors over here, steam channels, boron neutron absorbers, and our fuel rod right in the middle. Nice and simple. Very nice and simple. And this is still going to be expensive because it's a 5x5 five five, uh, nuclear reactor. Now we're using glass covers for this to... Uh, <laughs> so I honestly don't know if it, it could possibly explode. Now, theoretically you shouldn't. But I'm not really certain. Now you can uh, actually set whatever steam pressure you want here. I like to get a, go with the uh, good old original like steam here. And our uh, dual uh, uh, Leviathan uh, turb turbines, yes. And you always want to make sure you have these set to input slash output with your infinite fluid barrels, which you can use infinite water barrels at or the heavy water barrel. I just use that for some reason. And over here behind our Leviathan uh, steam turbines, we have. Our steam condensers, we have six on each side. I have not came up with a power source for this yet. Here, hold on. Let's get our cable and our spark. We're not gonna have that much power, but I should, like, at least try to gather it. All right, just like that. Have that smack dab in the middle. Okay, so basically steam comes out of here into these turbines here, which then goes into here and then comes out as low pressure steam, which goes into here, which then goes into our steam condensers, one for each side, to stay true to the uh, dual cooling system of the RBMK reactor. Now it should also have two steam freaking, but you know what, it's fine. So, in theory here, this should be able to run any of these self-igniting fuel rods here. Now you're going to have to have a self-igniting variant because since there's no moderators and no more fuel rods, there's not anything to sustain the reaction in this RBMK reactor. Now, we're going to make sure we, we're going to make sure everything has water first. Now, we're this in here. We're starting off slow here. Uh, and we're going to go over here and moder every mod um Monitor everything. Now it is going up a little bit. I'm not too concerned yet. Though we are going to put the little... We're going to put the top on it just in case. So, you don't have to use reinforced combine bricks. Uh, it's probably overkill, but I'm not risking anything here. Because the cleanup operation is absolutely terrible. Alright, so, 
It should... Okay, it's uh, it's going slower now. So we're at 19... Nine, uh, 1900... Okay. Almost 2000 degrees. That's not terrible. So down here, we can go down here. This is our uh, steam area here. So and we also have a layer of combine bricks under here. Just in case, you know. This is the uh, top of the line RBMK reactor right here. Now featuring the radiation panels. Which I probably should do is make like a freaking ladder. Or like a little. We could incorporate. You know what? Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, this is not gonna look pretty, but it's gonna be functional. Okay, so let me uh, let me let me do this real quick. You don't have. You really do not have to have this many sa safety features in your RBMK reactor. I mean, you probably should if you don't want it to explode, but. This shouldn't explode. At least not with the uh, lower temperature fuels. Now anything that's uh, higher in heat value might might go boom. So just be uh, mindful of that. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous to actually like throw a freaking bell fire rod in here because I'm really nervous that's just gonna be like. All right, so up here. Okay, yes, perfect. I'm gonna make a little area here. It's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not horrifying. <clears throat> Let's grab another door here. This is still a work in progress, as you can tell. Alright, there we go, that's better. So that looks a little more uh, technical, I guess. Now, we are actually gonna try it with a balefire rod. Because that's got a lot of radiation. Of course, you're gonna use a haz you're gonna need a hazmat suit for this. If you're not. I'm quite nervous about this. I feel like it's gonna explode. Let's get you out. Okay, so you actually okay, okay, it's gonna go boom. It's gonna go. It's gonna go any minute now. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of steam. Okay, so what we're gonna need is probably uh, set it to a higher steam pressure. And maybe even more water. Oh, oh frick. I'm going the wrong way. So, obviously, if you're gonna be running the uh, bale fire, you're probably gonna need a. Uh, you're gonna need more steam turbines. And you're gonna need Like I said, the containment building worked this time, so that's good. that's good, you know. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Oh boy. Okay, so actually two levels of that actually work. There's a lot of corium in here. Okay, that actually what the why did it work this time? Not last time. You know what? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you guys have an idea, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.